I'm going to bring up a product here. I, okay. I want you to talk about it. It's your Slick Tires. And oh, man, yes. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. And it says rubber slicks work with r rubber slicks. So is this rubber? Is this plastic? I'm confused. It is. It's a it's a thermoplastic rubber. And uh, and so I use uh, four different hardnesses. And uh, and there was one that just came out that I've been uh, playing around with. But it really has a. It's got some room to grow still. Uh, but it is. It's so expensive. I don't think it's gonna uh, catch on just yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, but this type definitely has. And uh, it's rubber. It's flexible. It. Uh, I mean, it it can take a beating. I mean, and it's hollow can, inside these wheels, right? It's not uh, solid. It's not solid, but it's not hollow. Uh, there's a there's a certain uh, there's a certain pattern that I have in there. So that way, it allows it to flex, but it allows mm -hmm. it to stay strong. And it, it still allows you when your kid sits in it, it still gives it a little bit of, uh, depending on how much they weigh, of course, gives a little bit of give just like an actual slick. So, but they are it, airless. Okay. Cause so we see this in the RC and in the, cra in the crawling industry, like the RC crawling, they mm -hmm. make 3d printed because you, you would use foam inside of there. So they make 3d printed inserts to go inside the tires and they're like a honeycomb. Oh, okay. So they're like honeycomb yeah. and they flat and then you can you can buy, some people want the tires to flex a little bit more to grip and all that type of stuff. So when you said that these have a design inside of them, it makes sense, right? That right, is, yeah. that's the support. You can't just have a hollow tire. It's, you, you can, but that's support. It's almost like a shock system. It's like putting the foam in an in a RC car tire. 